Hey, it's Drao, Borut Petrlin here, Top Shit Photography. Today, I should be in the woodlands doing my Christmas special. Am I getting old? Sure I am, but I, I don't want to get soft. Well, Christmas special is coming soon. I just need to have, I need to get uh, snow chains for, because there's more than half a meter of snow and, and Look at this beauty, it's a Lingho 5x7 inch camera cardan, uh, but it has one problem. Yeah, during the transport the ground glass broke. So today's theme is how to make a new ground glass. The trick that I missed is, um, the trick that I forgot is when you do this and you wipe it, uh, you have to, you see, like this is, you can see everything behind, so this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. There is one stupid trick. Don't evaluate your ground glass wet, you have to dry it. This took me like two days or day. Oh. Okay, this is how it looks um, wet, so it's very transparent. It's not good enough for uh, ground glass, but you have to dry it, so let's dry it. Okay, and now this is totally different, don't you think? Look half wet, half dry. <laughs> Okay, this turned out really great, it's a really beautiful camera and uh, I want to shoot some films with it. Um, a couple of things, this is, the, this is if, you, if you have a silicone carbide, it's the best, you know, you have this beautiful powder, use anything. But I have a bonus.
guys, I'm sorry, I have to wrap up. This vlog is a kind of eclectic. I was doing a lot of research. One of them, the most important one was how the sodium hydroxide reacts with the potassium dichromate and how, how can I um, use a sensitized tissue. And those small prints, four days after four days, I have totally clean whites and rich blacks. I mean, just totally amazing, totally amazing. So four days in a room temperature, totally fine. The other thing is, the other thing that I tested, it was my workflow for big carbon prints. And they're really beautiful. It works, my workflow works. And then I played around a little bit and uh, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, more to come, more to come. <laughs> And, um, and last but not least, with these little prints, I really love them. I really love this horizontal and these verticals that are coming up. Um, it, it really works. It really brings uh, kind of... And also this format is amazing. It's really good. I will make a book out of those carbon prints. Um, if I'm honest, I have this link of Technora for a couple of years already, and I still didn't figure totally out I didn't sense the camera fully but now I can see where this is something that I want to continue working on it's purely a feeling you know it's just like something that feels good so I just want to go there either way guys thank you for being my patrons thank you for supporting me buying my books um, in the, in the last issue of Silver Grain Classics, uh, there, is a, there is a photo book review, four pages about my book Father's Tale. Thank you so much, uh, guys, um, for, you know, all the attention. I feel honored. And um, now, when I edit and publish this, now I can start preparing for my Christmas special. Thank you for watching and uh, 